So, I'm going to call our regular select board meeting to order. First thing is set adjust agenda. Do we have anything to take off? Yes. Oh, good. Yay. Strike, <laughs> strike item number two from the agenda and move the others up accordingly. Okay. Strike item two. Two. Thank you. As in temporary or is it just yeah, not going to happen? Yeah, we'll address it in another meeting. Okay. okay. Fine. Fair enough. Anything else? Motion to motion to uh, amend accept the amended agenda. Second. Second. Oh, a race to the second. She won. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Jerry, are you aye or nay? Aye. Aye, aye. Oh, I'm okay, aye. so that's everybody. Good. Um, next communication from the audience, and we have an audience tonight, which is a wonderful thing. So. Um, Anybody want to say anything, communicate anything to us that's not on our agenda tonight? Uh, yeah. So, is there anything? Is there anyone else here besides a, a community safety, our little community safety group? Yeah. What is that? So so agenda. Agenda. For the agenda. Yeah, the Norma's on the agenda for um, Heart of Trails. Oh. When we get to budget. So we just wanted to share, uh, many of you already know that we've been having a community safety discussion for the last... Oh, could you, could you state your name, Jan? My name is Jan Mueller. Um, and so some of you do know, and some of you have been nice enough to come to one of our meetings. So there's been a few meetings, and we'd just like to share a little bit. Nothing, we can maybe take up, take something up more formal in a future meeting, but Given that we uh, had a pretty important meeting with this last week, we just thought we'd give you a little update. So, um, yeah. So the um, the could you, could you state your name, oh, Kate? Sorry. Kate Scarlett. Thank you. So the, there was an original meeting in August, um, which was organized because there's what appeared to be a, a really serious escalation in um, drug-related crime in the community, um, and so the. You know, the focus of that meeting and, and all the subsequent meetings is on trying to define specific problems and concerns and issues that people have to better understand what's going on. Um, the focus is, and the, our meetings is on giving individuals room to speak and share their stories and questions and concerns to, to um, that is intended to help us to, as individuals and as a community, to better understand and know each other, so so that we can then build ideas for helping each other. Um, we need to listen to understand, and from understanding, we can then move to ideas for actively helping each other. Um, the intention of the group is is for a democratic process, which can mean it's messy and time-consuming at times. Obviously, the problems of, of uh, drugs and crime are obviously not, it's not just a local issue. It's a societal issue, it's a, a nationwide issue, it's a worldwide problem. So there are no easy answers. But um, I think the intent of the group is to really focus on listening, to give people room where they feel yeah, a safe and respectful place to be able to express their concerns, and that is probably a growing, evolving process as people understand that that's what is actually happening in these meetings, and uh, that that's a priority for the effort, and coming up with solutions. If we can come up with a solution, we'll probably be able to solve the world's problems. So, uh, big, big problem. And I do want to say that we really appreciate that Opie has been there at every meeting, the police chief has been, or close to every meeting, the police chief is coming to the meeting, select board members really, really appreciate that and hope that we can continue that because it creates a really important, helpful dialogue. May I make a request that at some point somebody write this up and put it in the Gazette? The Gazette is not the paper that it used to be, but I am part of a group that is trying to bring it back to a semblance of what it used to be. The place where you go to find out what's going on in the community, as opposed to 
the silos of Facebook and various social media that, that everybody is connected with. This sounds like it's really important stuff that's going on, but unless you're there, you don't know about it. So if somebody or some committee could agree to, you know, once a month summarize the stuff that came out of this, I think it would be enormously beneficial. Thanks. I would appreciate that because that's something actually we've talked about is mm -hmm. how do we get this out there so people mm -hmm. understand these are happening. And the Gazette is still, <coughs> is still Hardwick's, I mean, for official notices it is no longer our document of record, our newspaper of record, but for community stuff it really is the historical record and, and that's part of what I'm thinking of also. Thank you. On that, on that note, Tuesday morning I contacted the News and Citizen and they're working on a solution to get East Hardwick added to the distribution, um, which is a huge problem. Um, I, I found out that they delivered to Greensboro and Greensboro Bend, mm -hmm. and they East Hardwick is the only zip code they're, they're so they, not delivering to. So they drive right through East Hardwick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. So we're working, right. on, we're working on that. We yeah, they got it somehow. Yeah, we're working. Yeah. I, I'm well aware that you guys are worth it. Is there a reason it I isn't, never, or just never, somebody I'm never? I'm waiting for a. Um, it, it was a problem. Well, I heard that. And that's that's a big issue because yeah. that's our paper of record, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that is the paper of record. So, um, yeah. So we're going to each say something, just okay. you know, time-wise. I don't know how much time we have. Let's carry on. You have as long as you need. Well. Uh, All right. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're the chair. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be concise, but we have different perspectives yep. and and the, the value of this group. Okay, so I think. I'm yeah. So, um, yeah, so we've been... <coughs> Caitlin, can you state your name? Oh, sorry. Caitlin Strong, East Hardwick. And um, so I had started a neighborhood watch group like over three years ago, and so that's sort of a little bit morphing into this group, whether everybody knows it or not, just because there, it doesn't seem like we need to replicate. Um, so, yeah, we've been working really hard on trying to cultivate a... a environment where people can really talk about these things that are pretty nerve-wracking um, and also focusing on looking examining very locally like what circumstances have allowed this to happen in our community to get to this point and um, and then we've also we have some you know focus on county and state sort of levels as well but um, very specifically on the local level, we just discussed coming up with a resolution to present at town meeting, uh, really recommitting to community safety and what, what you know, maybe trying to define what that means. Um, and since there are challenges on the county and state level of how these cases are tried or not, it seems like we sort of need to reestablish what the community feels about safety. <coughs> so that's my piece. Great, thank you. Do you want to come up? No, thank you. I'm good. Okay. Um, so my name is Jan Mueller again, and uh, I'll tell you we had this meeting on Monday. Even though I've been working with people in our group and hearing everyone's individual stories, on Monday it was uh, it was pretty powerful to me personally um, because I have not had personal experiences with safety issues in Hardwick, personally. And I'm learning about what's happening to my neighbors, and I'm like, oh my god. Um, but I was teaching in Memorial County before that, and that's kind of was my interest in this issue, was seeing how it was affecting some of the families of kids I was working with every day. So, so we have people who are interested in like trying to deal with addiction broadly and long term and prevention and all those other things, and we have people who are trying, and we, we also have a fire you know, right now, that people need help with. So we're trying to balance that near-term, long-term, specific hotspots versus overall, like, get, get a handle on the problem. So, so we hope to share more of what we're learning with you in the future. Great. Well, thank you. Appreciate your coming and offering um, 
just a synopsis of what you've been up to, and I think it's helpful. Caitlin. In terms of the, the resolution for town meeting, do we have to go through the whole like uh, getting signature process, or how does that? And so we, for what? For creating a, a resolution to be presented at town meeting to have people vote on. <coughs> Um, how, what's the process? An item on the warning. I think the select board has to decide on a resolution. I, th I, I don't think, know. I think mm -hmm. there are two ways you can get yeah, something on the warning. Because it's different for different things. Right, what you're trying to do. I'll email you tomorrow. Okay, great. Thank you. And there's always, at the end, isn't there always a place for non-binding business? I right, non-binding resolution. Also. That would be a non-binding resolution. It right. would. I'm just saying yeah. that that's a possibility. Right. That's too. basically the voice of the community. Yeah. Can I jump in with you too? That. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. I was just. This is Katie Caitlin. I was just thinking that. Um, so a few years ago, the select board put into place the equity and inclusion re uh, resolution. Would, which I think touches on a lot of safety and making everyone feel welcome and safe in the community. So I know Jan has that, and I'll send it to you. Um, that you know has already been voted on by the board, and it's possible that that might capture a lot of what you're talking about. And if it needs to be opened up to add more information, we could always do that. But it might um, it might really fit with what you're looking for. Um, so I'm happy. She's, she's, she's unmuted. She muted herself. Oh, you muted yourself, Kaylee. Oh, I did it. Okay. Yeah, I was done. You're done. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks. So Just an abrupt finish. Thank you. All right. So we'll come back to you in the time. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you You're welcome to stay. We'll be here for the next couple hours. <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm joking. Right. Yeah. 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 I know. Get a feel of what it's like. Yeah. 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 Dinner. Dinner. <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> All right. We'll see if we can get nice there. Hand close up. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So that's good to hear Make from people. That approve the minutes of the regular select board meeting of November sixteenth, two thousand. Second. Twenty-three. Any discussion about the minutes? I thought they were very good. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. All in favor of approving minutes as written, please say aye. 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 Wrap it up. I'll stay I wasn't there. Okay, so that's uh, four eyes abstention, so motion carries. Um, next is town manager, oh, yeah, town manager report given by Mr. Upson. Okay, um, so I, this is my favorite topic, and it's coming to a close, so I won't be able to talk about it much anymore, but um, PNH Senesac processed a total of 1.6 million gallons of sludge in the Lagoon One cleanup. Their recent efforts closed out the cost of cleaning out both lagoons to just over $1.3 million. Wow. 2.5 million gallons of sludge processed and over 2,300 tons of solids shipped. That's hard to, that's hard to get my head around. That's a lot of yes. solids. That's a lot of poop. <laughs> that's 40 years worth of. That's 40 years of that. That yeah. That's a historical record right there, yeah. is. I'm writing yeah. it <laughs> No, no, no. In the actual biomass, there would have been a historical record. Yeah. <laughs> we should have been doing core samples. Correct. Uh, the lagoon clean-out portion of the project ended $122,154 over budget. The main drivers of the overrun were lack of available disposal facilities in Vermont, and the clampdown of PFOA regulations in Quebec, leading to an increased Increased trucking and disposal fees. Where did it finally go? Western New York. That's what it was. That's far. Yeah, and a little bit up in Quebec right at the end of the project. Um, so that's it. That's that project in a nutshell. Um, just for the lagoon relining. There's still stuff going on in the plant. The, the relining, uh, they're starting to chuck the sand out of the lagoon, number one. You'll see it starting to stockpile, uh, and then they're going to, they're not going to, they're going to prepare it, but they're not going to lay the new liner in until the spring, because of the weather. They can't do it. They can't weld it. Um, the fire station boiler is installed and operational, just in time. 
Wait, I wasn't somehow wasn't tracking that. Did the that get damage in the flood? Yeah. Okay. No, so um, this kind of segues into my next thing. The BLCT has provided a fifty thousand dollar cash advance on our two <coughs> property claims within the floodplain, the fire department and the wastewater treatment facility. The final payout will not be determined until all losses from floodplain properties statewide are collected. We have closed out the memorial building claim and the historical society claim is closed pending quotes for a new heating system. So we had a furnace down there that we fixed temporarily until we can get a new heating system in there. In the historical society. In the historical okay. society. And then the memorial building, sorry, you also closed that out? We closed that one out. That was the floor. And these are both with passive? Yeah. The, the, the pass okay. Yeah. Um, the historical society and memorial building are not in the floodplain, so those are paid. Covered like normal insurance covered like claim. Covered like normal insurance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need to get our fire department out of the floodplain. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Sorry, preliminary sorry. architectural feasibility report, the PAFR and State Historic Preservation Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, documents are reaching the final drafts. These are important documents required that are needed to be completed prior to moving forward with the construction of the pedestrian bridge. They will be submitted in the next couple of days for final approval by the USDA. I'm attending the fifth, oh, I'm just gonna skip over that. I attended the fifth public safety meeting at the citizen group as organized. This yep. is the third meeting I've attended. They are working to help the police department and the community to come up with strategies to combat current drug related crimes that have been happening in Harder Village and East Harder Village and all the rest of the world. All in all, these meetings are positive and productive. Our community development coordinator is putting the final touches. I think she did this by the end of the day on the transportation alternatives program grant for the requested scoping study work on Mill Street and South Main Street to address ongoing safety concerns surrounding bike and pedestrian use on the street. Thank you, Tracy. Um, she had Chief Henry here pull the data for the crashes on that street for the last 10 years, and I think there were 25 <coughs> crashes. Really? Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, for, for us, because we yeah. don't have a lot of crashes. And then there were how many injury-related crashes? <coughs> I, I don't know how many. Don't know the breakdown. Yeah, but those are just the re reportable, yeah. reportable crashes. So I didn't pull the numbers for the uh, non-reportable. Like so fender benders. Yeah. So wow. Yeah. That's way more than I would have guessed yeah. for 10 years. Yeah. Well, we've had four or five people hit. Yeah. And there's that um, area. Right there we have. Mm -hmm. Where are we talking about? Mill Street. Mill Street. Yeah, Mill Street, Main Street. Yeah, that intersection, the South Main Street intersection, yep. and then the one coming off of Glenside is another bad. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Bad. Yeah. So hopefully that stuff gets figured out. It'd be great to have some ideas anyway. Yeah. I mean, there's been, yeah, I mean, there's been lots, lots of accidents. Well, Jeff Perry told me that at one point we had an opportunity to buy that house, at the, the last house on, on coming off of Glenside, and the town passed on it uh, to level that hill so you could see around the corner. Right. So uh, you can at least see the road. Yeah. Huh. There used to be a schoolhouse there. Really? Yeah. Huh. It seems like we're in a strange place to put a schoolhouse. Yeah. There was. <laughs> so that's my manager's report. Thank you. For this. My job. Yeah. Um. <coughs> you can't ask me any questions unrelated to the manager's report. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> What's up? I know there was a there was a light out in Casey. They were going to get a new light because it was out and it must just be, it wasn't available. Cause we have you, to replace that whole thing on well, the light. Which, which light is so, so dark? We did find light a vendor. Oh, HEV does that. And there's no, mm -mm, not, not those this. ones. Oh, the black ones. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the little ones. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Um, I was Mom on vacation. To, he had to go to like Needham Electric in yeah. Morrisville, and they, I'm sure it has to be ordered. So it's, it's been yeah. ordered. I saw that. And they I told him to get the two thing off the top. He yeah. should have spare. But then I realized that I think there's actually two out. There's the one by Positive <laughs> Guy and the one that got hit on the corner. So yeah. we need them both mm -hmm. anyway. Maybe that's why it's dark. Yeah. So they've been ordered. Nice I just start. thought it would be worth mentioning in case somebody actually listens to the, you know, but meeting. And they're not, they know they're that not that the lights are yeah. either. Can't they win. know their Can't lights win. are out. Yeah. yeah. I haven't gotten any calls about you. You were the only one. Well, Sandy, yeah, Sandy is. Okay. Yeah, right. Please see. All right. Next up, Mike Henry with the. Uh, I feel like we're skipping over. Uh, Tom, road? Tom, yeah. Tom, Tom's got the night off. 
I know. <laughs> Just <laughs> is it, I do have one more question regarding that. So the winter parking bin is in force now, right? Full force. Mm -hmm. So locked down. Why do you suppose they weren't able to plow the whole, you know, um, in front of the school and all the way down to town, but really in front of the school, the, all those spots only got half plowed, so you can't see where the lines are. Mm. So people are going all helter skelter up there again. Yeah, they did one. I know they did one night of snow clearing, mm -hmm. and if they push, if they do it during the day, then all the snow they can't get the snow out of there before the cars. Mm -hmm. So, and then this the Monday storm was it got cold and it everything froze timing, up. So yeah. now it's all frozen. Yeah, we're not supposed to be really getting any snow. It's yeah. gonna melt. It's, it's all gonna melt. Hopefully. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, you all notice it's when the flood. Sunny. Yeah. Oh, when the flood. Yeah, it's spring. Spring. Oh, oh, <laughs> don't say that. Yeah. Okay. We'll take care of it. Mud season. It's, 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 it's a pet peeve of mine to have any snow between the sidewalk and the park car. Mine too. So. Uh, um, yeah, that's a I whole get other that. thing. I mean, this was just like, like only half of it. Yeah. They, yeah, there was a whole section. They don't there. have a plow with a wing right now. Oh. Um, Great, it worked just fine. I see him winging back of the street sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> with a grader? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. All right. But yeah, Richard, yeah. Richard Brochu, that was a, um, a huge pet peeve of his. So yeah. I've carried on that. No, it's mine too. That tradition. Yeah. Me and yeah. Richard don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, Somebody told me there were something like 70 trucks down to one of the dealerships. That's Right now, it's like at Clark's. Yeah, my yeah. son-in-law. Oh, for service. My son-in-law was somewhere today where the town has got two big trucks down. Their mm -hmm. their ten wheelers are down, and they're plowing with F two fifties for their ten wheeler routes <laughs> because <laughs> trucks are down and they can't get parts. It's yeah. a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Because yeah. normally okay. they would get that work done in the summer, and they yeah. were using them all summer. Yep. Right. Right. That's right. So the light department. Uh, they said on the news last night that the light trucks, the big light trucks, the big ones like Green Mountain Power, big light trucks, mm. are like two, they're like five years out when you buy one. Yeah. They paid for it two years ago and they're not going to get it until next year. Wow. That's a awesome. hotline truck. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. I think Mike or Mike or. It's stuff is right now is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Anyway. Anyway, next police department report. <clears throat> Mr. Henry. I'll start with the uh, bad and get to the good. Okay. Hey. <clears throat> so we lost Bill Morley. I don't know. Uh, I missed a meeting back. Bill has been out uh, most of the summer anyway. He got injured at home, and after that, he decided that uh, it was time to hang it up. Um, it took him a long time to heal. So uh, appreciate his service that he gave us. It was great having him. Um, yeah. But. Uh, uh, we lost him. He was one of our part-timers. <clears throat> Andrew Force will be leaving us in January. So he's one of our full-timers. Uh, Andrew's been with us almost two years. And uh, he's uh, got a job with, through the, uh, the feds. So he'll be starting oh. in January with them. Um, so. <clears throat> so good for him. Good for him. Right. Bad for us. Well. <clears throat> Bad for us. So we're, we've been... Advertising, my case? Nope. Nobody's given me an ad. Oh. They're told me to advertise. Oh, I thought we had one up. I thought we had. We one have. Up. We still. We have two ads up. I didn't. We we haven't. Ad. We haven't advertised in the paper yet. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were up and running. No. So we will be advertising. I didn't believe you. I didn't yeah. believe in the morning, you. first thing, there will be advertising. I didn't believe you. Yeah. So. Now is, is there, now it's public record. Is there also a um, like a statewide or some sort of law enforcement um, board, employment board, where people look to? Yes, that we post to. But you're we're not. But we're, okay. but yeah. we're not. Where are we Stowe's a fifteen thousand dollars sign on bonus. I think yeah. I they, they advertise in the Gazette. And they advertise everywhere, yes. <laughs> including the Gazette. All over the world, <laughs> World Wide Web. So they're here and we're down here. Like you get biscuits, and, you know, gravy here. <laughs> Steak and eggs. Steak yeah, and eggs so I, nice I would like, work in, exactly, yeah. thank you. We have a nice community to work in. We have a really good no, chief. No, I agree, we have I'm just good saying town right manager. now, it's, it's silly. It's a good. It's silly right now. Again, we're back to the silly world we're in. But we, um, we had decided 
I thought a while ago that we were not going to play the game of the well, we're signing not. bonuses. That's where just because it seems like losing, something. You know, it's hard to retain people. Yeah, but signing but bonuses don't retain people. No, they don't. Yeah. That's the problem. You get somebody in the door for the bonus, no, but, but as soon as they're they do, up. incentives are, are what are taking people away. I mean, even with Andrew, obviously there was a good opportunity for him for his career, right? Right. You can't, that's, that's just the way then those things yeah. happen. And that should happen. But when you have a very limited supply of people coming in. Yeah. No, it's hard. For sure. I know so we're hard. looking for good candidates. I need to get somebody, <clears throat> if it's a new person that, we, that has no training, I have to get them up and running uh, you know, before January because uh, the academy would start in February. And there's a lot that has to be done before that. Mike, what's a good candidate? What do you uh, look for? <clears throat> Give me somebody with integrity, and you know, we we can we can mold. Good writing skills. Good writing skills would be a plus. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of pluses, but there's somebody that just, yeah. He shows up. Yeah, I mean. Well, I'm pretty sure there's, there's three of them over in Chittenden County that are going to be job hunting. <laughs> <laughs> I would overlook something like that. I have them on board. The speeders. <laughs> I don't know. So three, three You're the one who's trying to keep us on task know, here. These are good stories. <laughs> <laughs> there was two police officers and a firefighter. Yeah, two police officers and a firefighter, 30 year olds on their motorcycles that oh, decided they fast. shouldn't stop. Yeah. Oh. And they got caught. Yeah, so they're. Let's not throw them under the bus. No, I'm. In a public meeting. That's why I said let's hide them. Let's hire them. I don't overlook that. In the old days, <laughs> Mike Luzon wouldn't even. Mike Luzon. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't even have raised an eyebrow. He said, boys, go back to work. Danny, you're on fire tonight. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not helping my own cause. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You're playing I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mike, so, yeah. please carry on. Give him a cookie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put a cookie. I, know, I had two cookies. That's why I got me jacked up. <laughs> I'm all cookied up. Oh, boy. <laughs> so that's what we need. We really need to uh, try and uh, look for people. If anybody's got any uh, uh, people that they can send my way uh, if we can get uh, somebody that's certified even better um, but uh, it's uh, uh, slim pickings right now yeah you know so everywhere right? <clears throat> everywhere yeah so I just want to touch on some of the other stuff that's been going on um, I'm sure you know you guys have seen it but what we've been doing is uh, uh, working along with Morristown Police Department Stowe Police Department Sheriff's Department, uh, DEA, and other agencies as well, um, because we're just too small to do things on our own. So uh, last night was an example of one of the nights where we just went out and we targeted certain people and picked them off. So just bringing people in on overtime, just that force multiplier of getting everybody together and these are the people. Because the same people over here are doing the same stuff over at Morristown, over at Stowe, you know, all over. Uh, so we're just picking people, and those are the people that we're taking off. Last night we, we took off four more, so it was a it was a good night last night. Yeah. Um, and that's in cooperation <coughs> with which agencies? That's in, <coughs> so last night it was state state police. I forgot to mention uh, state police and Morristown Police Department. Uh, we all worked together and uh, had a pretty productive night. Great. So. That's what we're going to have to do. Uh, it's as you're hearing from the, the people who are in the audience tonight. Uh, a lot of people are scared to be out there with all the drug problems that are going on. We're doing the best we can to take them off at this point, and that's one of the ways we're doing it. It sounds like working in cooperation with other agencies is really a smart way to go about it because. People aren't just operating in Hardwick or Morrisville or Stowe, right? They're moving around. Right, right. Everybody wins. Well, yeah, well, well you mean when they're taken? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's not the bad I mean, All the communities win when you yes. get together and and grab a bad actor and get it off the right. street. Right. And we're, just, you know, our communities are small. And yeah. You almost have to. Well, so me, I agree. It's the same guys are. are the Wall County, or County, County. Yeah. <coughs> yep. And yep. So that's great. That's about it. Uh, we have worked on the parking when we have time. Try and get people down there. That's been 
out of a few people who I rate, yeah. take out a parking ticket. So, but we're mainly focused on you know the handicap zone and the uh, area right in front of the, uh, the intersection. The intersection. So um, that's our main focus. Good and job. Some people, and some people that are happy to pay the ticket. Some people have come down, you know, and said, "Yep, you got me." Yeah, you yeah. know, the time. time. Yeah. So. Good so for them. Did you ever solve the question of which direction the sign is supposed to face? Which one, the handicapped one? The handicapped one. <coughs> Faces. Not, not really, um, because there, there's two two people are saying completely something different. So mm -hmm. I haven't had time to. Because now it. that the snow's covering the ground, mm -hmm. then they can't see that. Yeah. So you pull up there, you don't really see that if you're in your in the driver's seat. The engineer says it's, it's supposed to be that way. Yeah. And the judge says. The way. judge says. Well, the judge is ruling in the past. That's changed. In the judge's ruling, he he had it facing the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. So I don't. I think I understood the judge's ruling. You guys can discuss this amongst yeah, yourselves later. <laughs> you notice I got to be honest with you. I'm much more entertaining than those guys. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, but is that why we're here? Yeah, right. <laughs> Just great work, though, on working with other agencies and, yeah. and helping to, to take some, some folks away who we don't need what they're doing going on in our, in our community. So that's really good. Appreciate it. Um, next, where are we? Item one. Town clerk <laughs> slash treasurer Tanya Chase is here to discuss the vault door. <laughs> thank you for coming to discuss the vault door. You're welcome. And thank you for paying attention to the last meeting. Thank you for case you're telling me to. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if any of you have been in that vault down there. I'd be mm -hmm. happy to show it to you. It's wonderful. It's daunting that when you open that door. Um, it's so full. There's like this much foot space. The rest of it, which is a pretty large vault, is just boxes upon boxes of stuff. Through the years, it's become completely unorganized. So Alberta and I are going to, we started on Monday, we close at 3.30 now. And from 3.30 to 4.30, we'll be cleaning and organizing uninterrupted. I'm going the to, vault. Huh? The vault. The vault. Um, so we're going to organize it because different things are all over and then catalog it, go through the retention schedule and um, Secretary of State's office, the archives, they're gonna help me with that. And then what we don't have to keep, Wiz will come and At see what first, she wants. Yep. First option. Um, so hopefully, you know, eight, nine hours a week between the two of us working on that, a couple months, hopefully. Um, Do you have shelves in there? There are three, so three of the walls are all shelves. Wow. It's really oh. nice. But it's full. It, yeah. Maybe it's it's full. Full. It was yeah, full 30 full. years ago. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I was going to say. And it's just been added to, and it's just, to sit down and do it is very, been, I think that's why it never got done, really, is it's just a daunting task. But, right. So we are doing that. Um, Great. I got a door picked out, emailed a few places to get prices. One, they don't have anything similar. One, it's about 8,600 now. It's the smallest door. It's 32 inches. That door we measured, I think, was 28, 28 and three quarters is the case it's in. So hopefully it would be much cement cutting. I emailed Vermont Concrete and Cutting. That's who John mm -hmm. got a quote from in 2018 to get a quote. I haven't heard back from them. And then we did that, and then I'll find somebody to put it in. And is that a fire safe door that meets? Four hours, which is the minimum it has to be is four hours. Okay. So that's what this door is. That's where it is right now. I don't think the current door is a fire door. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's just and one. Every episode, or every edition of the Gazette since the beginning is in there. <laughs> I thought so we'd no, have them. That's not true. That's not true. Okay. That, but that is an There's intriguing a lot. pile, a lot isn't of it? He was kind of not, we went in there, we were measuring stuff, and in the top corner of one of the shelves, and it's up high, there's a stack of something. They're huge. I've always wondered what they were, so we climbed up there and pulled them down, and they're old cassettes. They're old cassettes. The top one was 40s, and we didn't go down very far, so if they get older. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you missing any? 
Um, Should they be representing? Very, very few, <coughs> but I want to see them. Yeah. They, yeah, we won't throw anything out to. But that pile there. was there in 1980 <coughs> when I was researching in the vault. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. And it was yeah. yellowing then. Yeah. yeah. So I have a question. Do you have a secure place over there that's fireproof? Yes. You do. We do. Okay. Mm -hmm. An angel room. Just just you should see it. Very yeah. nice vault. Okay. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you oh, should go. You should go. When can you? You need a tour of the historic yeah. I had one tour, but I don't remember seeing the vault there. That's why. Because you well, it's not the first time. You don't get to see it the first time you go. It, oh, okay. And it, <laughs> it also doesn't look like a vault, like the vaults here. Yeah, it's not a vault per se. It, it, it's, it's a secure, <laughs> climate controlled storage. You started it tonight. I know. I got too cash. Mm -hmm. Good job. All right. Thank you, Tanya. Appreciate the report, and it would be yeah, it would be great to well, be, get yeah, a door in there. But if we, so if anybody knows of somebody who puts in vault doors when the time comes, that's the only thing I don't really know. Who to I think Danny does it. Oh, no, perfect. Yeah, it's the bottom it. floor, so this one only weighs nine hundred pounds. Yeah, no, I think that's. It's the lightest one I could find. I do this like <laughs> six hundred, no under. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. It's uh, mm. yeah. That's not. It's not going to be your average. You're going to want to get somebody who knows what they're doing. Ideally, literally, because that's. As soon yeah. once they hear back from the concrete, they might know. They yeah, might. They yeah, might that would be a good place to ask. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I really have more expertise in dynamiting mounts than. <laughs> oh jeez. All right. Item three. Business manager. Does not say Casey Rowell. Casey Rowell to present the FY25. Budget first drafts of trails presented by Norma and Helen, office and payroll and revenue slash summary. Yeah. So that's to you, Casey. To be, but to, before she starts, to be fair, um, in the current fiscal year, 2024, um, there was an issue with a formula in the budget report. And so what happened was Trails submitted a budget in fiscal year 24. It was about $10,300. However, um, their budget flows over to line items. And what happened was it didn't, it didn't jive. So they basically got shorted by $1,200. Um, and so when it look, when it shows it's going up $1,900, it's actually really only going up like $700 um, and 20%, but you can talk about that. So it just, it looks like a bigger jump and it also looks like that because it's a small, it's a small budget. Um, but really they had requested 10-3, that was the intention, but it came over as the 91.85, so. That might have been when I was playing with the, the formulas. Yes, yeah. last year. <laughs> might have been. Yeah. So what you're saying is, is yeah, it's only a thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, really, yeah, it's really like seven a seven hundred dollar increase. But we need to give them back the money that they sort of lost last year in the budget or the current year. And last year we spent almost every cent of. Yeah, you were at 99%. It was like perfect. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so it's basically the only thing, the big, the two biggest increase, equipment repair and maintenance. Um, we have an old tractor. Eric could probably answer questions about that, but it's needed a lot of repair and maintenance. Um, a salary increase, and I think that's where the, the cut was mostly, wasn't it, Casey? 
Yeah, that's, I made adjustments and we yeah. trimmed that down a little. So last year, um, for this year's budget, and then um, the program and activities was another uh, jump, and that's because we, every year we're over, way overspending the budget in programs and activities. Which is a good thing because we're doing a lot doing more a lot. programming <laughs> and activities and so I think yeah. it's... Uh, and the cost for like the pumpkins and, right. and the supplies for those events has increased. So it makes sense to increase that. Right, right. Um, so are there any questions about anything that you see? It's pretty modest, so. Well, everybody's shaking their heads, no questions. Kaylee, do you have any questions on the trails budget? I don't, it looks good to me. Okay. Thank you for coming right in here though, just like Johnny on the jingle with that though. Okay. <clears throat> I have a couple questions. Um, you know, some people like that. Come visit. Are, are there repairs that still need to be made from the flood that are... Eric sorry. might be able to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> that won't be covered? No, I hey, think... who do I send a bill to, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> have you not sent a bill? No. Mm -hmm. So you send a bill to Casey. The deadline's passed. That's oh, right. yeah, the deadline's passed. <laughs> if that was flood repair, there yeah. was the $2,500 grant from Vermont Community Foundation for flood work to trails yeah. that you have. Yeah, yeah and that was, that was for flood repair. So okay, yeah, so repair. But I, you'll I be able to use that. Wanna, I, I print all that, so that's fine. You need a bill for that. No. Yeah. I'll do it next time. I'll bill. No, you need a bill for it. Okay, okay. He did, we'll he did a great repair. So yeah. um, we also uh, replaced, I think, six culverts and some other washout stuff, but we were able to get, yeah, uh, the Vermont Community Foundation grant, and we had some money remaining on a grant from the Northern Forest Center that really was needed to be closed out in September, and so we were able to use that. We spent a lot of time out there. Yes. And we got we had 80 hours. Donation of what? 80 hours. Yeah. Yeah. We had we had good donations for that excavator work. So um, we. That was about twenty six hundred dollars worth of work. That he was out there a long time. So I was yeah. working across the road, Justin. So right. So you saw. Yeah. yeah so we had eighty hours of excavator time, of which we were only billed for fifty hours, and there were a corresponding eighty hours of operator time. That was picked up by the Crossbury Outdoor Center um, for because it's an employee oh, there. I did not write a thank you note for the operator part. We need to do that. I forgot. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So I'll so be right we, right. Our, our money went a really long way with the donations and whatever. So and grants. Cool. Sir. Is I have a question. For you. Is is are we still on the FEMA? potential eligibility for reimbursement of some of those costs as an identified damaged site in the many different projects that were noted as incurring damage and potentially reimbursable. I'd have to follow up with Brad from FEMA on that. I don't know if that was added to the disaster <coughs> inventory, the trails network. I think it was. I okay. thought you mentioned it it was. it was, which would be Wonderful. Did so I put? We'll get reimbursement on that. I think I. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's because I remember it. submitting the. Did they do anything right for it? No, but I did. Yeah, because I submitted the latitude and longitude coordinates for that first river crossing. I added those. So I, it's been added. Great. Whether it's been put into a project yet or not, I don't know. I'd have to follow up. Right by the school, though. Yeah. yeah. And when would that? When are those decisions being made? Is this it's just ongoing. Okay. They're just, they're, the projects are popping up, and then we have to do essential elements of information, which I'm behind on. So, yeah. 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 That, that would be, we'll wait. We're, I think our, the first ones we're doing, we're just going in order, and it's just the debris, all the trash and stuff, those reimbursements. Thanks so much for coming. You're welcome. Thank you for supporting us. <laughs>
And I don't, but I don't know if if we've spent grant money for the repairs, right. if we're going to be able to get um, reimbursement for that. Yeah. Right. Right. Might not be able to. Right. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know how it works. Did they ask you how oh. you paid for it? They, yeah. We had to go out with the yardstick and measure all the. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they asked the you. They asked you if there's a pay, pay balance or if you paid it, they want to know where the money came from. Yeah. For this exact Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn government. All right, Casey, back to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right, so the next category we're going to talk about this evening is office and other payroll. Um, so basically, um, the biggest changes here come from salaries and benefits. Um, we have, we're still working to gradually bring up salaries that are significantly below the market average. It's going to take some time. We can't do it all at once, but doing it over a couple two or three years, although they keep going up, but we're, we're working on that. So um, we're also proposing that um, the part-time zoning administrator increase her hours to 35 hours a week, which will make her eligible for benefits. So from 35, to 35, but from? 20, 20, she's half-time okay, and not going all the way to 40, but going to 35, um, which will make her eligible for benefits. So we have an additional health plan, um, and so that's, and she's going to take on additional duties in addition to the zoning work. This um, feels like a silly question. Yeah. But I think it should be asked. Mm -hmm. Is there 35 hours a week worth of work mm -hmm. in that job? So it's not if she's taking on some new duties. Can you elaborate a little bit? Um, she's going to be doing the floodplain management stuff, um, trying, uh, adding on to the, there's a program. That we're trying to get involved in, so it this lowers person? yeah insur insurance yeah. premiums. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need. Yeah. She definitely puts some hours. Yeah, and there's other duties that we can pull and assign to her from. That takes the weight off of the. Of other town office. some other employees in the town office. Mm -hmm. so, so there's so definitely work for her. Yeah, but. But to characterize, I mean, I know we have to have, or we only have little buckets on our on our budget, but when we see it up here and it says zoning administrator, I just, so that's where the, the money's gonna be on that line, but what you're saying is that you're taking a town employee and you're adding duties, they aren't necessarily zoning. Sort of a reorganization. Yeah. We might need to change job, new title. we're gonna need a new title and a new job yeah. description. Right, yes. yeah. got it. So, um, we yeah, rewrite our job description. Yeah. Right. It's not necessarily that there's more zoning work to be done, it's that there is more work generally, and you could assign some of it to well, her. Right. She's that she to can do. do. And there's permit review stuff for the town, for some of these town projects so, that were. Yeah, we're just essentially related. creating a full time yeah. position mm -hmm. out of yeah. a part time position. And I'm all for that because I believe there's plenty of work. Yeah. yeah. And I think, I think Chris has a great job. I think she does yeah. too. I would hate to lose her. Right. I don't know where you're going to replace her. Mm -hmm. Any of you guys. Where would we would replace any of you guys? We're, we're irreplaceable. You are. You shall get raises. Yeah, let me get another cookie for you. <laughs> All right. Better on anyway. Casey, carry on. Um, and so then we have, you know, some other categories that show a pretty big increase, but the dollar amount isn't huge. But the cost of ads has just gone up. So I mean, we're going up forty percent on that, but the dollar amount is seven hundred fifty dollars, and trying just, trying to match it with what we're actually spending. Yeah. Um, of course, our paper of record is news, news and citizen, and every time we put in an ad, it seems like every time it's two hundred dollars. It's, it's expensive, and it's not just them; it's in general. So um, there's that. We need to budget for. There's a couple of what general elections. So things? we have like extra I'm election pre expense. Pres uh, presidential primary, August primary, and the general. So so there's extra election expenses that so we anticipate. Ads, so, that'll be three. so we added to that. Um, Wait, what are the middle ones again? Presidential primary, August primary, and the general election. What's the August primary? State. State. Thank you. State? State. 
Why they can't we do it all in one day? Because they don't. It's because not how it works. all right. Because government is clunky. Okay. And unorganized. All right. All right. And Seems like a lot of elections. There's no reason for it. It's just the way we do it. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> so that's that's the proposal for that. Any other questions about office or payroll changes? It's all in salaries and benefits, yeah. basically. Okay, so I just have a really quick question, in a sense, just going back to Eric's comment, and it, it totally makes sense to me to um, add to Kristen's time. My question is just in line with Eric's, is that on that list, it does make it look like the zoning administrator is going full time, so the average voter is not going to know that that's not going to be filled with zoning time. I'm just wondering if we can explain that in the budget somewhere or um, also put it down just, you know, that change is kind of based on a person. Um, and, you know, hopefully we have Kristen for as long as we possibly can, but it might change in the future. And so that kind of sets it, it just historically will make it look like we're having that full time zoning administrator. So I'm not sure if there's a way we can describe it or well, that's, an asterisk yeah, we were or something talking for about, folks who um, might not know needing a new title for the position and a new job description. So I don't know how quickly we'll come or up just, with that. Or just like zoning administrator, I don't know if we could do zoning administrator slash. Floodplain manager. Whatever. That's yeah. She's, she's doing a lot of floodplain management so right now. I'll, I'll also just make an observation that we have, we have places in our budget where we just have a department and it says salaries. Yeah. And then here we have two individual Individuals. positions right. that, that have their own lines. It's true because in order to save lines like highway, police, all these, library, we just lump them together. It's right. Because of, in order to save space, you put town clerk's office salaries, town manager's library salaries, you know, police but salaries. For example, so. why isn't wouldn't they both be under town manager? Yes, that's my question. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Both the uh, economic well, development and the, the... Yeah, we could certainly put them in there. I mean, that would look... That would make that category look, cr like, you know, crazy. But we could... Yeah, maybe well, it's we could town do office, that. You know, but it, I but mean, it like, seems logical. Well, yeah. because those... Because they both um, report to the town manager. So right, right. So why aren't they sense. in the... Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, it'll take some explaining at town meeting to say this is why this happened. But then it'll be done. We and then the next, exactly, it'll be done. Staff. And then and the next year, it won't look the, different. Um, assistant town manager position in there, too. Ooh. While we're at it. Oh, just a touch of kid over there. Hey, you need a job? Danny. Jeez. <laughs> no more cookies. No <laughs> more cookies. Assistant <laughs> town manager. Okay. okay. So I don't, I, I'm just. Throwing, yeah, that's throwing that out there, we but we could definitely move those two right up into town manager because they're it's all yeah. the same. Yeah. I think originally I don't know about the zoning administrator, but originally when we added the development coordinator, we added that as its own line item because we were kind of tracking it. At first, yeah. we didn't fill the position, and mm -hmm. you know it was we weren't even sure that it was going to be worthwhile. I think now we're we're solid in I that. I just want to go on record as saying I always knew it was going to be worthwhile. Okay, so <laughs> Sherry knew it was going to be worthwhile, but some of us wanted to track yeah, it. I go on record as Sherry is very good about telling us that she always. <laughs> All right. All right. So as you are as well. Okay. So, yeah. Um, what I will say before I get to revenue and budget summary, um, I could only like change this out of the folder so many times this week as I got additional information. So when we get to the next meeting, there'll be additional information because I already since I put this in the folder two different times and then I got more information. I didn't want to keep changing it, but yeah. I know that um, Hardwick Rescue is going to have an increase. They're going to be coming next meeting to talk to is us. Is it going to be as big um, as their last increase? Bigger. No, last time they asked for like twenty or fifty thousand more. <laughs> Percentage-wise, it'll be about twenty-three percent more. Oh my word! Um, so they're gonna come and talk. Lindsay will come, yeah. and so three, they have three hired employees now. Before they had one. 
anyway okay. anyway so should, so yeah, like I that information that. came in um so there's there's some additions but right now let's sure. talk about this okay now you got my brain way off track okay so you revenues we're, we're right, gonna yeah, get down to my right. bright idea here next, okay yeah that's all right meeting. so yeah, revenues all right easy now. come on pay yeah. attention okay. pay attention um this is there's good. some pretty significant changes here um yeah. Pilot, which is the payment in lieu of taxes, um, that will be decreasing based on HEB valuations. As you're all aware, right. I think that um, there's been some, I don't know, discovery in the calculations of that. Um, and so based on that, we will be receiving less money from them. Um, we got less money from them in fiscal year 23, we're getting less money in 24, and we're planning for it in 25. <laughs> Um, so, so, so that's, that's just the way it is. It's a pretty big hit. It's Twenty-one thousand dollars. It it's by stat. It's so by statute. It's we. Mm, so no, we we agreed. We agreed on it. We don't have to. We can pretty much. We could change it, but what we agreed was that we would we would accept, as I recall, that we agreed that we would accept um, pilot from Hardwick Electric, as if. Uh, we didn't own them essentially, as if that they were um, a municipal, Tax, like a municipal outside of their boundary. Right. Right. Yeah. I remember that. So that's what we agreed to, and then this cal this is where the calculation wins. It seemed like the most fair way to do it at the time. Okay. Um, Easily defendable, I'd like to say. <laughs> Delinquent charges um, in 23, we only collected 18,000, which means people are paying their stuff on time, which is good. Is um, good. It does reduce our revenue, but um, <coughs> it also you know, means we're collecting more of the taxes on time. So basically just lowered that based on what we received in 23 that we shouldn't expect to go all the way up to 27 again. So kind of middle ground there. Um, recording fees, again, sort of aligning with what we've seen recently. Um, grant and aid revenue, we already know what those figures are. So in fiscal year 24, we it was like 31, and then we, that's going to go down. It's a different amount every year. Um, oh, whoops, I didn't go that far, sorry. Get up there. Um, grant and aid revenue, we, we already know what that amount is, so that, that will be less. Oh, wait, so sorry. And that's um, highway. Yes. And it's, why is it, you probably just said this, but why is it lower? Because it's a grant, and they te we already have the grant. Like we already know that the amount is lower. What we're gonna we already know what we're gonna receive. Hey. Okay. It varies from year to year based on the pot of money that they have. Ah. Yeah. That's wrong. Six thousand. So when do we talk about it? We talk about it right now. That should be six thousand, Casey. What? Woodbury. The West Woodbury. Good, that helps. We paid three thousand. Yeah, for so, a half a year. So I, I advocated that was only for half a year. To yeah. Get that back 6, up and running, and asked Opie oh, to go to okay. yeah, make a deal to take care of West Woodbury. Um, you know, for Woodbury, so they didn't have to come around. Um, and and Opie did just exactly as I was adamant about doing. Unfortunately. After now that we've done it a year, and, uh, I don't believe that the, the money's not enough. So what we're getting isn't enough. Six thousand isn't enough. You don't think that covers our expense? No, it's near. It's t no. And and I didn't. I did not. I wasn't involved in the actual negotiation of the price. Hmm. I mean, at one point we were trading stuff originally, right? Yet they were originally for us in the summer. Originally it was a barter. Yeah. Um, and then they so stopped. it needs to be re-looked at, my, I guess is what, would you say that's fair? It needs to be renegotiated? What do you think? You're being quiet on me. No, I'm not. I'm just waiting for you to no. get done talking. I'm not sure what we do for the, what are we doing? We're so, plowing? Yeah, so, so if you go up Cape, oh. if you go oh. up Cape Brook Road, um, oh. and then you get up to Six West Six miles Woodbury. of road, three roads. And, and the town of Woodbury has no direct access from Woodbury without coming through Hardwick to get oh, to those roads. Okay, okay. And so we plow and grade them, and we used to just, they used to come down and help haul winter sand. Mm -hmm. And um, now we don't need them to do that. Well, no, they, they, they stopped, stopped doing, doing it. And then 
and then we, we well it, originally I believe that was the buyer was to switch to their brush cutter that goes on their loader the net failed so a couple of years nothing happened yeah um, so then I believe we stopped doing it correctly well they didn't they didn't come through but they didn't come right. through so we stopped there in the deal, so we stopped doing it so then I asked Opie when he first started to and they had a new town guy to see if we could get back together they did unfortunately the deal that was brokered is not sufficient we're not, not covering our costs expenses. so we need to either renegotiate a deal with them or stop doing it so that six thousand covers both summer grading and winter plowing just one grading oh but still okay uh, i mean i don't but as much plowing as they need okay right and i and i don't think that's sufficient six thousand sufficient to cover the cost what do you think would be sufficient? Um, or do, how would we I, I would have to know. I figured, it, I figured it to be between twelve and eighteen thousand. Yeah, I would really? say if I I was a contractor. Based on like the percentage of road that is compared right, to our overall. Yeah. Yeah. We did. I would say that's still pretty light. We ran the numbers. We ran the old like material overtime, truck time, loading. Yeah. Wear and tear on the trucks. Yeah. And I would still say I think that number is still plenty. So I think I still have a good deal for them. <laughs> Hurley is keeping track, as he has, but he's keeping better track of West Woodbury and what he's doing there. Okay. So. Oh, that's his route. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna revisit it, but I have. They are doing their budgeting right now, so I. They were. They're gonna pay the six thousand. For the year this we're year. in. Yeah. And they're budgeting right now, so it's. A good time. To ask them. Do I we, do we have a signed contract that we have it's to It's an wait? agreement. It's a mutual aid agreement. Okay. So, so but it's something we couldn't change on sort of on short notice as opposed to we have a 3 year contract. It's annual. It's annual. Yep. Um, but I went to the select board shortly after I started. I presented the numbers that I came up with. I presented the tax revenue that I thought that they took in from those properties from, those, from the year round properties and then yep. I they didn't want to pay so we stopped doing it and then I was directed to negotiate with the new town road commissioner and this is what we came up with so at the time that was the best you could get well it was yeah, a good I faith of trying to make things yeah make it get make it they were doing it halfway through the winter and he came and said like I can't we can't keep doing it so um, they were in a jam, and this mm -hmm. is what we came up with. So, but it needs to be revisited now, but I think we need to, if they're budgeting next year, we're doing it this year, but it needs to be not done next year without a new deal. Well, but I So think who does that, him or us? <laughs> I've done it once. <laughs> I know, I don't care. I, I, I just, I mean, it's not Are so, you? it's costing, the taxpayers' money right now to do that, and that's not right. So it needs to be fixed. Well, it's so the however way. we fix it is fine. Either yeah. we, we give up his fair compensation, which I agree his number is on more than fair. I'm mm -hmm. sure of that, given the cost of things. Well, if they had to hire a private contractor, it would be yeah quite a bit. Yeah, it'd be a lot more than but that. But we're out there. We're going up the hill. I mean. Right, so our cost should be lower because we're already there. Well, yeah, and I, I that the whole my whole push to do this was to be a good neighbor, and there's no reason why we can't. But we're also not going to do it and lose money. We can't. It's we can't. We can't. It's not fair as people have. Correct. So we need to relook at it. So is this something you'd be willing to go with Opie to? I would go with Opie if Opie wants me to go. I don't know who you're going to. Are you going to the select board or the road foreman or? I'll talk. Know. We'll we'll talk to Alfie. We should talk to Alfie and see what else. Okay. Says. All right. So you guys will work on that. Seems like timing is going to be a little tight because, like, just like us, they're going to be trying to get well, their budget done it by should, January. Part of, part of the response, of, listen, you know, the bottom line is it's the town of Woodbury. Yeah. They should be the ones concerned with who's taking care of their roads. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, they should make sure that the deal is in place to get it done in next year. Yeah. If it was me, I would want to make sure my plow guy was sure. Yeah. 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 Well, he is. So, this winter. Well, right, right but you, you understand. Next winter, too. <laughs> no, I hear you. You're right. Well, we could give them $3,000 worth of service. Six. 
It's six. six. It's six. Yeah. Yeah, it's there. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm and, reading. And that's not. Uh, uh, you know, that was for half a year. That's, she's updated it. Okay. On yeah. The whole goal, my, you know, the whole idea of that, my whole deal here is to, to be a good thing, and there's no reason right. why it can't be a good thing, but it needs to be a fair thing for right. for everyone involved. That's totally. All. Simple. Totally. All right. Opie I and I are on it. Okay. Good. <coughs> Next. I'm not changing it right now on That's this fine. because he's highlighting it. Yeah. yeah. Leave it there. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So. Um, I think you should leave it as six, though, because if that's the, what was negotiated, like that's what we're doing this year is six thousand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think even if it's highlight highlighted, it's got to be at least six. Right, but I'm saying I I don't want to change it because then it will change your revenue. I don't want to do it right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. I highlight right. it yeah, so that it. I'll change it in my okay. version, but I don't want to do it yeah. now because then it's going to change all your figures yeah, on yeah. the next screen. Yeah. yeah. So I'll go back to it. Um, okay, so there's that copying fees. I aligned yeah. with actual. Um, same thing with PD ticket revenue um, based on kind of what we're seeing. Um, interest on investments. Again, what we're kind of what we're seeing there, water and sewer transfers, those come from the salaries of highway and office, the, the like the admin fees that come over, um, and highway state state uh, state highway safety grants. Excuse me. Again, we had taken in like sixteen thousand in fiscal year twenty three, so we expect to continue those. Um, so Can you scroll did, again for me, Casey. Oh, yes. something that's easier Sorry. for me to follow on. Yeah. Um, Right here, so a little increase that based on what we've got, um, and then we have the vast patrol that we haven't budgeted for, but we anticipate that to continue. Is that correct, Mike? Yeah, I gave you, didn't I give yeah. you the money we did this year? Well, this is for next year, but um, yeah. I don't know. I don't have the figure. I don't think for that, but we're getting this year. But that's great. Can use some this year. So, um, but you anticipate that will continue. This is next year's budget. Oh, yeah, this is 25, oh, so 25. we yeah. don't have anything in the current because we didn't know about it, like, at the time we were budgeting, so, yeah. Um, but, I mean, we pretty much get reimbursed for everything mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. So. so we wouldn't anticipate that to end after this winter? No. no. Okay. Well. I mean, I know you can't see in the future, but you yeah, don't have yeah. a reason to believe right now. I don't have any reason to believe. They, yeah. they, they like it. Yeah. No, this, they, they this, need to. They this need area to of the on. trail is not really covered. Okay. Um, we had the one-time ARPA funds <coughs> that that will go away in 25. So whatever what we had left was the 9,900, which we're using in the current year. Yeah. Um, and then sale of real estate. Um, this is something we're throwing out there oh. um, about the possibility of selling Carry Road. Do we have a buyer? Well, not right now. We haven't even listed it or anything. I'll but, buy it for 150. Um, Opie and I talked about Jeez. this. The Hollier's one, they they offered to buy it, kind of. So yeah, we so we threw that number in there. I don't know if it's too. I don't know if it's They're low. Like, I don't know yeah. if it's high. Um, it's like a placeholder. Yeah, like yeah. we're we don't it's really have a need for it right now. We know it's probably not going to work for a highway they garage. Pay it for Dollar General. <laughs> They pay something stupid like no. five hundred thousand or something. Three hundred thousand. Well, that's still right. This is the rest of the property. Yeah, I was gonna say this is the other eleven acres, <laughs> not that one. What about those people from St. Johnsbury who came and pitched? He moved away. The housing. He moved away. Doing business in Vermont was too hard and too cost costly for him. Yeah. So he went to the southern states. Wow. Repent. Yeah, I believe that's it. Too bad. So, so that's basically, this property is a property that we had originally thought would hold. Um, well, we originally didn't intend to buy it. It just so, we bought it at tax sale because right. it was our policy to bid on things that nobody else bid on. Still our policy. Still, still our policy. Yes. So, it, so still we ended up owning it, and okay, then so once we owned it, it seemed like maybe we would put some town buildings down there. But then after the flooding was so I I still don't I think that's premature decision making. Okay. Because I was involved with the flood and where the town garage was right now was still stranded. <laughs> where the fire station was now is still stranded. Yeah. No matter where you go, yeah. you're gonna be stranded. Yeah. What um, was the problem with it? So I, I just think that I think it was silly, and that's and honestly minor flooding on 14, yeah, yeah. and 
uh, Brooke, Ricky Thompson's, I mean, that could be resolved, mm -hmm. so it never happened again. So mm -hmm. the flood, the flood is really, in my opinion, no consideration for not doing that. Down okay. Right. You know what I mean? Because no matter where we put stuff, there's going to be limitations. Yep. But. But, so, so is that, are you going to extend that and say that that's an argument for holding on to that real estate? Well, I don't or think do it's, think? Uh, I think it's a valuable piece of real estate myself. Um, right. I think it's, it's okay. the way the lay of the land is in the town of Hardwick is the expansion is very limited. Yeah. Um, so I just hate to see us write it off because of that flood. And that, yeah, okay. to that point, it. It, was a, it was a hell of an idea. And right. then the flood hit, and there was a foot of water out on 14, and then the whole the world went down. <laughs> you know? Uh, so. <laughs> Can I also add just that, I mean, even if we sold, even if we sold that real estate, which potentially could be really great, I don't feel comfortable putting it into our budget as revenue for next year. Like, there's way too many variables around that. It certainly won't be. I don't believe it would be sold in a year. I, you don't think so? I just don't think we should bank on that 150 grand as revenue because we don't have any, like, we don't have an offer, we don't even have an, like, there are way too many questions, I think, right. to say that if we have to cut something somewhere, Try. we should do that, but I... Do we need like, to do that? It no. seems like we, we would have to, we would have a $150,000 shortfall if we didn't spend it, if we didn't sell it next year, which would be a problem. As well as incentive to... to Pressure or pressure to sell it. It would be, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we should have it in our budget. It is why it's there. Like it's, it was really more for we discussion. It. it was more for yeah. discussion. I wanted. To, like, I knew um, we'd be an well, hour, a little um, over an hour left in the meet or through uh, the meeting, and I wanted to spark it up so everybody would wake up. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I, well, so that's to, why to I put my it point, in. Okay, so I'm making a point for keeping it, 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 but I'm it's also it. not against selling it either. I just don't think we're going to be ready. To but it falls into the need for a meeting at some point after we've gotten this budget done and we're where we actually just focus yeah. on the safe, public safety and that complex and where it is, whether it's there, whether it's there, whether it's somewhere else. Um, we we yeah. are never going to do that in a regular meeting. So, no. So, yeah, I agree. So the real question is where, our thoughts right now, would you say that we all agree that um, the only use that we would have down there would be the public safety building. Otherwise, we would all be willing to sell it. Is that fair? That's true. Because that's what me. I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is if that, if we're not going to do it for that, then sell we should, it. Right, because then right. it would improve but our But I don't list. know. I'm still not right. convinced that we have a better place for a facility yet. So we need to get our stuff well, together. Okay, so. On that facility. I don't. I think we're gonna end up having a fire station up here. And why not build one building yeah. for all of our assets? And we could sell this. The HED is looking for a piece of property for their shop because they were um, basically uh, surrounded by a moat during the flood. We could offer this property to them for their shop. They've been looking for property to build a new shop. They have. I and, know. And other people probably have been looking well, for places. Well, yeah. sure. I like the motel idea. I like the motel idea. I we're cool with selling it at some point. But just for tonight, it sounds like we're not comfortable putting this down as $150,000. But to Sherry's point, we want to keep having the conversation about what we're, what we're doing with the right. property. Right. I'm, I'm good with that. I, I'm not comfortable either. Um, Way to reel it in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. But Next. we do need to get our beans in a row on the other the plan. Stuff. Okay. So, just quick little math backspace. Ouch. Here's this figure right now. So and I'm I'm gonna 10 delete. Ten percent on the budget. Add and the I'm, six. I'm gonna delete the hundred fifty thousand. Oh, you didn't already. Oh. No. Add the three thousand. Um. Hold on. I thought you did when you did that. It doesn't flow. It should, I wonder. Where was it before? Hang on. 
Yeah, it was. It did. The eight acres there. Yep, it did. Okay. So, so. No, that didn't change though. Yeah, why is my thing not changing? The top of the that did change. Yep, the top one did. Um, fire department. This one did. Uh, so, uh, we applied for the ranch house and Lowe no. was did you want for moving the yeah. fire department yeah. and then that yeah, was Yeah, I got a formula issue here. I got a formula issue here. Okay. Would everything fit? That's why I asked a second deal with it after, sure. so. I don't know what yeah, that is. Yeah. Yeah. This was, she didn't come to the meeting. This was just, this was like a couple months ago. Is it Amazon? I just have it right there. I just. OP up okay. Yeah. Um, Allison Lowe talked to us a couple months ago about doing that. Is it NTAP, the grant? Yeah. For, and we, she was going to apply for Mitigation for grants. Okay. And mitigate, and we were going to look at moving the fire department up on Creamery Road. Mm -hmm. And as part of that, say, well, we have to reconfigure everything because we also need a new town garage. Mm -hmm. Do you know where any of that stands, like the grant? I haven't talked to Allison. I, I talk to her almost all the time. I'll ask her. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't talked to her about that. Right. All right. I'll find okay. out. So we did, I believe, though, we applied for funding to do a study on moving the fire department up there, which would also look at what the possibility up there being Creamery Road, what the configuration would be of the fire department, Newtown Garage up there. And Harder Rescue and wants rescue. a piece of the action, too. Yeah. Right. And we told them that we we try to coordinate if we could. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we went from just Nine. under ten percent to just under fourteen percent. Mm -hmm. Ouch! Nice. And yeah, this, of course, day. doesn't include <laughs> this doesn't include the Those new information I've received, uh, like from Hardwick Rescue and stuff. So, right, so I think we'll be edging up to fifteen percent, which is too high. So I guess one other note I'll make about make. like personally, I wouldn't have a problem budgeting. Um, money for selling the, the Cary Road property if we all, were all in agreement that we were going to try to sell it this year. I bet we could sell it in a year. Well, this gives us until June 30th of 25 to sell it. Yeah. However, that's a one-time revenue shot. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so in some ways, counting, I mean, it's good, but it kicks the can down. Flush. Yeah, camouflage <coughs> is a real issue. Yeah, I'm not into that. Right, because you're not, then we're just not going to have that. It's going to happen once, and then we're not going to have it anymore. Yeah, it's not going to solve any issues. And it's still a roll of the dice. We're nowhere near. You're not, you know, you're going to argue with me a little bit about what you sell that for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. And I ain't giving it to nobody. Right. If we give it to anybody, we give it to Danny Hale. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Here we go. I'm telling you. Oh, anybody? Make have, sure that's the only in the thing we've had so far is we've had two people come here and ask for it for free. Make sure yeah. that's in the That's gazette. all we've had. Yep. No one's come through that door <laughs> and said anything other than I'll take the land for free and I'll do this. Well, Danny Hale will take the land for free. Well, what we had into it. So, mm -hmm. what we had into it. We could list it with a realtor and see what we could get. Remember when you came to see said $200,000 for the yellow barn and in a year we'll get our money back? Yeah, out. yeah, just a year. <laughs> How many years are we? Our yes. real estate ventures aren't going very well. Right. Well, we do own that. We do own it. It's coming along. It is coming along. That. It is looking good. So, um, so that's brutal. 13.9%. Uh -huh. Okay. But, so we could, uh, you know, I just don't think, I, I just, we don't have any plan to sell that thing. It's going to come hard. And no, it's, we've already agreed we're going to kind of get to have yes, public, if there's public conversations the about it. approaches this town or something like that, it becomes a windfall. It's not, it shouldn't be a should say. If you did a windfall, it's much better where it's right. So then we, then we can cut the, the taxes. Then we can cut the tax rate. That year, because you know what? Next year. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is you think the tax rate is going to be any different in 2026? It's not, yeah, 
Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Yeah, I just, so like I we said, didn't get hit that hard last year with our budget. And we kept reading in the papers of all these other towns around us that had these huge increases. Like 30% and stuff, yeah. Yeah, and so somehow. So what's, what's driving this down. big? Uh, We're going to have to. Capital so set aside is a big one. Mm -hmm. Like our, our line items is a big a big thing, I think. Um, yeah, because we're like and we have some bonds payments, that are due for the payments that are like a new payment that increase and in set aside for capital, like having to do one hundred twenty thousand dollars for equipment if we want to keep our schedule. That's a big one. Yeah, um, yeah. Can't get around the payments really. We have to start not um, uh, replacing some stuff like the old days. Yeah. Okay, so we also, as Casey has pointed out, we just don't have all the information in. It's still evolving, so we're not. I don't think we're solving anything tonight. We're just looking at where Correct. we're at. This is a proposal. And the next meeting will have library and recreation, which are the only two departments that have not presented. Um, and then I also will. Um, like insurance has just got has just come in from the LCT, which. Is the library going to come with a solid update on the, on the building project? No, well, not, yeah, the money and the building project. I, I don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Where is that? Yeah, we could probably get another update. I mean, so for the yellow, essentially the yellow barn project is going to never be a tax burden to us. Correct. The library, on the other hand, Always has been, or Always maybe will be a tax burden to us. So yeah. we have, we should, we should be. I think we should. It's got to be huge cost overruns. It's been it's been under construction this summer, yeah. and it's, they're not even above the ground yet. So well, but they weren't under construction all summer. They stopped. Because they were redesigned. It, trust me, that there was parts moving the whole time. There was okay. dollar bills going ching ching the whole time. It may not have been the shovel. But it was an it was an the redesigning, or, uh, yeah. It was somebody. The project was moving. The project is under yeah. construction. Um, people paid for things. People have done work. So, you know. But yes. I don't know where it's at at all. Does anyone have so any idea? My understanding from just a personal conversation with Joey, which maybe isn't up to date because it's been a while, but is that they are basically planning to do what they can with the money they have, and they're confident they can at least complete the shell. They might not be able to fit out all the parts of the new building, but they're still looking for funding to do that. So they, I have not heard any inkling of a plan to come back to us to ask for anything. They've already received a bond from the town. So I They've think- They've received a bond from the taxpayers with the expectation of a completed library. Correct. Can I just make a couple of really quick comments? It's not about the library now. Yes. Um, I'm just thinking it would be nice. Obviously, we don't want to be like a 13 percent a lot. <laughs> um, it would be nice if we. I mean, it seems like we're hard pressed to get it below 10, but 10 seems a little more swallowable than almost 14 percent. Um, and my other question is, do we have time to get? Like a quick assessment for a realtor for the Cary Road property, so that way we could, you know, have some actual numbers for that. I know it's tight because uh, we've got to get this published, but it would just be nice to have an opinion of somebody who a developer or something. So the problem, though, Kaylee, I, as I see it, is that even if we put that revenue in there this year, that's a one-year windfall. Um, so it's going to bite us next year. Right. Yeah, um, so, unless you know we have more property somewhere. Can't really budget it. I was uh, asked what we would, what the town would sell the um, lot at the end of the at Mill and Main, the end of the Cliftoid building um, for. RJ asked me that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Ooh, the guy looking to build a, or the organization looking Vermont to build Hats. a hostel. Hardwick for bikers. Okay. Yeah. Too much, Tom, too much. And we want to build a hostel for other people. It's a hostel. 
Hostel is like a. Monkeys hang out? Not in my experience, but. It's accommodations know. for people who are. Well, Vermont Huts call uh, uh, a resort that houses 18 people with running water and sewer a hut, too, so. Uh -huh. uh, that's why I asked. It's not a hut, it's a camp or a motel or something. It's not a hut. Yeah. There's minimum stay. accommodations. Yeah. Accommodations. So they, they play football hang on. too. Uh, Reel us back <laughs> in for a second. So just we're still gonna hear from library rec rescue. Right, yes. So we that'll kind of complete and you're still you said you just got insurance, insurance info. So then I know, like I know, passives going up two point nine percent. I think, um, but I think unemployment was pretty stable or really tiny increase. Workers comp. Would you say definitely the rescue is going up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've got the figure already. It's a twenty three percent increase. So. And that's not in here right now. So I think there's not a lot of point tonight of trying to. Yeah, we're not going to tonight. We need to get our last two departments, finish up because we'll be closer to having all of the information we need at the next meeting. And then we'll really know where where we're starting from. Yes, where yeah, and start yes. thinking about where you want to make cuts. <laughs> Casey, yeah. I see that you're suggesting a a contribution out of the fund balance mm -hmm. there's been so much oh, that the fund there? balance this the fund balance that. <coughs> I wonder if you could pull together just the state of the fund balance sure you know, what, um, what well we I can tell you that we used 260,000 of it in fiscal year 23 we anticipated using 175 and we used 260 and where does it stand um, I gotta just I, I haven't got the new number memorized. Well, Give me one I don't need to have it right now, but, but for this time. conversation next time, it would be useful if we had that. About 880, and that includes the $100,000 commitment to the pedestrian bridge. Um, and that would be, so 880, so. roughly 880. And then we have 75,000 of that budgeted for the current year we're in, so 800. And then 50 proposed here, 750. Well, I can tell you I would rather, I, I feel more comfortable about putting 150,000 of that in the budget than I would putting real estate back in the budget. Then putting can, what, I'm sorry? And they, the auditors want it to be at what percentage? Sixteen percent. I thought it was between thirteen and fifteen. Um, I, it's in our policy. So um, we don't need to. Well, this uh, to our our to goal to is fifteen, or so, I think it's fifteen or twenty. It's fifteen or twenty percent. Of course, that amount rises now as our budget goes up. So fifteen percent of our budget is yeah. our target, mm -hmm. and we're at four million. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, so, so uh, 600,000. 600, yep. So we so have a I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable with putting 150 out of that in there. And if we so get to Casey's reason, already got 50 in there in this, right? Of revenue from the fund. No, yeah, 75. Yeah. 50. In the summaries of this last sheet, next page, she's suggesting 50. 50. Because as I remember, we talked about gradually yes. going down because we did 175 and then we did like 125 and then we did 70. For, like we've just been gradually going yep. down so that it wasn't so painful. Yep. And that's, that's why it's only 50 this year. I think it was 125 last year. So we're weaning off of that. Right. Because we needed to draw it down some because yep. it was getting really high. Um, but yeah, we're well, moving we, towards that. Yeah, let's yeah. wait and see where we are. I mean, our yeah. options are pretty slim. Yep. <laughs> so none of them are going to be none wonderful. Are be wonderful. Okay. Mm -hmm. I agree. There's no magic bullet. I'm going to have to sign up to, take, to go check on a toddler to meet. Okay. okay. Thanks, Kaylee. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye. See you next time. So does Bye. Good night. So thank you. And then yeah. the next one. Do you want to take?
the next so meeting. So I do, I do ask the library to officially come with some sort of explanation. So can you make sure that the library comes with some sort of information that will make me comfortable in feeling, feeling comfortable in understanding the financial status of their project. Um, I know they're applying for another nine hundred thousand dollar grant or something like that. So I'll listen the to what Vermont Department of Library. I want to hear. Yeah. This is this sure. is where we're at. This is what we got left. Yep. Because ultimately, this is, again, like I said earlier, this is this is a project that the taxpayers are on note for. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, so mm -hmm. we should have a better awareness of where it's at. Yep. For all the naysayers right now, and there are a few on that project, <clears throat> they're pretty full of themselves. But at um, some point, they have to realize that it's happening. I, and I'm to with be a, you, and I'm not trying to be negative. No, I know. Understand that to be a naysayer when the project is moving forward well, is like counterproductive right. in my eyes. I, I, I agree, yeah. Yeah. but you got to understand not everyone agrees. Well, and I think last time Jody was here, something happened, and you were not here, so you weren't That's here. That's true. Ask she questions. did some. Yeah. Um, she was here, I, I heard. There was I a didn't meeting that you were. Yeah, but I, I, I was here. Okay. Was here. More numbers. You, oh yeah. More cowbell. Anyway. More cowbell. I want More to hear cowbell. Yeah. Goes to 11. Um, well, I, I don't have any idea. I no one knows. There's not like people have been meeting. But they are applying. They are applying for more money. Did that Vermont Libraries grant open up? Do you know? Uh, that's what they're waiting for. Okay. They had a meeting with them earlier yeah. this week. I haven't heard the results of that. So, but the other question I have about the rec budget is. They have a paid staff member in the rec committee. What exactly is that all about? I think that's a great question. I'm, mm -hmm. I'd be curious to know that too. I mean, we have some very dedicated committee people in this town. Volunteers. Volunteers, absolutely, for decades. That have done stellar, stellar work, including Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, really. Right. Um, but the trails people. Uh, we do. Trails has um, one paid, one pay partial. But they yeah, I can they're tell you exactly shuttle. what he does. Right. Exactly. Okay. That's so. My so my point is, I think the rent committee can function better with, for example, paying somebody to shovel a skating rink than paying somebody to administer something. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I think they all came about that. when know. it was tied in with reach. It's mostly administrative duties, the summer s swim program. But what I, I mean, communicating so with the swim instructor, and and then there's the planning around. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I so, mean, I do know, but I I don't know why the position became a paid position. I, I don't know when it. Do you, I don't know when it was because it's been as long do as I've been here. Well, it's at least like five years. Ten hours. Do you know how much? At least five is? years. Like dollars. Well, I don't need it's like idea. 40, 40, I seem to recall that's the amount that the five of us get. It's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> it's fairly recent. And it's about. I think same. the budget. We don't do <laughs> I think the budget is about five, but it's We're getting only about, about. It's yeah, probably only actually about thirty five hundred. I just. Casey just answered your question. What's up? I said, I think the budget's around five, but for the last few years, it's run anywhere from 3000 to 3500 of actual expense. Yeah, I remember it been a little less. Yeah. But, and I think some of it might have been tied in when they weren't reach and yes. they were tied together with, what's her name, the girl that was here, remember the younger girl? But anyway, doesn't matter. Um, just trying to, try to no, figure out if, 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 A, if we're paying someone, it should be a job description. And there's got to be a way. Rec, Rec is going over their budget on the 21st, and then they're going to be here, or the next week, and then they're going to be here on the 21st. Yeah, they're going over tonight. Yeah, tonight. Okay. Oh. So All right. that, yeah, so they should know that. So they should know. No, they need the 12th next Tuesday. Can you just yeah. uh, maybe drop them a note that uh, I'm going to be looking for a... Explanation. Yes, explanation. That's 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 that position is. For the well, you're making five grand and I'm making a grand. 
Because we don't do much administering here. Um, I'm going to move us, speaking of administering, I'm going to move us along. We got more? We got more. Item four is uh, select board to, uh, and first, thank you, Casey. Thank you. Um, it's, it's actually, it's going to be item three, though, because huh? it's item three, not item four, because we oh, did right. away with one. Item three, Sorry. we deleted two. You can thank me, I too. I came up with that real estate sale. To the mm -hmm. SC group contract to include the engineer design of the pedestrian bridge structure and authorized town manager, David Upson, Jr., to sign the amendment. We have a second. Second. So I have, I have some questions. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I read, I read through that stuff. This is really just to include the, the bridge. Bridge Brothers. Does the bridge design. Brothers design of like the engineering and design of the bridge. Which we needed in order to get the yeah. USDA approval, but we couldn't get the design until we went out to bid with the three contractors, but we couldn't go out to the three contractors is, because we only had one place that would do the design, et cetera, et okay. cetera. All right. This is so it's just a Okay. So this is a, this is a necessary step. <laughs> so yes. This is all An unnecessary, necessary but it's necessary step to just how are you moving, moving forward? forward? Yeah. I would just know this could be between this this is pivotal. The, the P F A R <clears throat> Or the PAFR and the MOU, mm -hmm. the, those three documents mm -hmm. could be, could be, really big. Our, our, really big. Our, what do you call it? A turning point? No. Uh, yeah, turn. Uh, yeah. 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 It, and then things will start. Then the permitting starts. Bam! Stuff really starts to happen. And then we're gonna, it's going to go out to bid and. Right. So can I just note that then for the record, I just want to note my my. Just I think stay. three. Huh? Just say it. So, it's a lot of money. Yeah. As a percentage of the as a percentage oh, of the construction see, cost. Did you see the new the it's new a, numbers for the bridge? No. You should probably see those. Okay, I'd like to see those. I didn't. So if you could distribute those, that'd be great. Um, but just even as a percentage of the construction, it seems like a lot. It also seems like we've had them in our employ for a long time, and we haven't gotten I have very far. I good to say about SE group, mm -hmm. just correct. I noted in the contract that it that. We don't own any of the designs. They retain ownership of the designs. So if we ever sever our relationship with them, the designs stay with them, not with us, even if we've bought them. Um, also, the the contract doesn't cover um, geotech, it didn't look like. We paid for that. OK, so it's done. OK, good. It's done. We Excellent. own that. OK, good. That was my other, I'm like, oh boy. Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. So anyway, those are my concerns, but um, but if 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 you if you guys are saying that by moving this forward, we're that's a necessary step to getting this bridge done next year, then um, tipping point. A tipping, tipping, tipping point. So then uh, I'm going to say the bridge were a seesaw. Oh, or swinging. So I, I'm all in favor. I'm all about if this is it. Yeah. God dang it. <laughs> I know, it's been a long road. And I, well, I know what he's saying. Nothing we gets to be less. We use SE Group. Yeah. We use them for a trail project, yeah. a bunch of stuff, and yeah. end up with the same thing. Yep. Oh, really? Nada. Mm -hmm. Well, there was. Well, thanks for telling us. Nobody else Sorry. out there. Well, yeah. no. This but it, project is that a mysterious way of. We, we started with a wonderful architect, and it, our timing it was bad. Was bad. Yeah. So, anyway. Anyway. Do it. All in favor. <laughs> Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Damn it. Okay. Next is the uh, item four. Select board to consider adopting the town's updated all hazards mitigation plan. This is another thing we have to do. I make right? a motion that we adopt the town's updated all hazards mitigation plan. Second. So as in, in discussion, I'll just note that there are many, many, many errors and typos in this. All right, well, let's not adopt it. Okay. Until that's really? all fixed. Is there, is there any downside to not adopting it until it's fixed? Um, like, are we under a deadline here? No, because there's other communities. I mean, uh, I take my motion back. Who's? We can do it next. No, we can, we can vote we can it down. It, we can do it next. We can do it next. Pending, you could do it pending. Pending uh, typo, correction. Oh, typo. but. Oh gosh, I don't yeah, want don't to be do the it. one. No, don't I do don't, it. No. Just wait, we'll do it. We'll put it on the next. Whoa, whoa. So, so do you, 
So do you want to withdraw your motion? Can we table it? Danny wants to withdraw. The guy that was here. I'm going to withdraw the whole number item four. Go so ahead. there's a lot of detail in there. I, I have to admit it's a long document. I did not read every word. I did read some words. And I have to say that, for example, I am fairly certain that the town bordering Hardwick to the southeast is not Hardwick. It might be. It could. East Hardwick. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, and there are a couple other, you okay. know, things along those lines. Yep. Um, <coughs> but I, I really don't want to be the one to do the proofreading either. I'll do it. Okay. Really? Yep. I'll have Paul do it, the guy we paid to do it. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> the first guy. Um, they're also in, inconsistent. Paul. Where'd your assistant go? More cowbell. Yeah. There are inconsistencies in the number of dams listed in different sections. There are. Okay. Um, well, you did your. I was just saying for a bit. We, put, we planted all of those errors in. And just, you just, to. just to see if somebody would read it. Yep. Well, and it was also approved by the state too, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah no. That doesn't so say. They, that's not they, saying much. They so have Hardwick Lake is our. Oh, sorry. Oh, so it's a it's a <laughs> there, there also, I'm pretty sure I didn't dream this, but I was reading. I'm pretty sure it it, it had it listed Hardwick as on the like, center for the universe. Yeah, almost the the on the um, on the boundary of one of the reservoirs of the Connecticut River, like behind one of the dams. Oh, damn. Yeah, exactly. So They're just course. things like that, but. I don't know that these things matter. Yeah, that's good. Do we yeah really they do. Have an executive um, session? No, you're probably right. They probably don't. Yeah. 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 Have you ever noticed that Google Maps has at least one road that doesn't exist in the village of Hardwick? Consistently. <sighs> nice. All right. So sorry about that. With don't the... be sorry. This is important. Yeah. This, you, you, but, did, you, you did your job. So we're gonna move it to next I read the time. thing. Yeah, you're good. No worries. <laughs> okay. We'll just table it. Table it. All right. All in favor. Oh, All right. Table. There we go. Select board reports. Make um, them snappy. The bid. Uh, what do you said? The RFP for the townhouse project is posted. It's open until. No, it's a December. request for bids. Request for bids. Yeah. Nice. Not RFP. Until December nineteenth. Yeah. Have you been able to put it out to the place, the different contractors that mm -hmm. you and Jamie were? Yep. Yeah. Our calendars. Um, our calendar. So we're hopeful that we're going to get a contractor for that project. That would be awesome. <clears throat> and the Hardwick Downtown Partnership is in the process of interviewing. We have four applicants for our executive director position. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. Nice. Damn, I missed the deadline. Yep, you did. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll report Yellow Barn Construction as <coughs> ongoing. Excuse me. If anybody wants a, if anybody wants a more uh, personal tour, let me know. They're going to pour concrete this week, right? And next week. Yeah, it's going to be warm again. Where? They're going to continue the foundation. Finish the wall. All right. uh, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, the foundation wall on the east side is the one that's not done. Then they're going to erect the steel building, then they're going to heat it, then they're going to pull the slab. Yep, that's where they do it. Yep. That's why they put that little red data ground where they need it. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, any other reports? New business, old business? Motion to go into executive session pursuant to. One VSA three thirteen for a personnel matter. <laughs> so moved. Second. Nobody's going to get it. All in favor? Hey, wait a minute. Is Mr. Upson coming with us? To include the town manager. <laughs> All in favor? Please say aye. 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 Sherry, you did, did you second that? I did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.